I always grew up like a human, not one gender or the other. But then the society put this thing in my mind that no, I am a girl and I have a certain role or responsibilities. And I didn't, I was a free spirit. That's why I never gave up. I'm like, I, I cannot because I'm just gonna do whatever comes from in my heart. You know, I, I'm not the kind of a girl who's gonna get married. That wasn't my future in my mind ever. I wanted to be an athlete. I wanted to be a squash player or to, to be myself and free and do whatever I feel. And it came to me that by age 26, I will be a boy and everything will be fine. But coming to Canada and seeing the freedom and everybody can be themselves, this whole idea disappeared. And I'm happy the way I am. I'm Deb Golden, and welcome to The Best Problem I Ever Had, a podcast that celebrates individuals who transformed adversity into advantage. Faced with unimaginable obstacles, my guests reveal the reservoirs of inner strength that sit inside all of us, guide us through life's toughest challenges, and define the determination of the human spirit. The best problem I ever had was born out of personal experiences that uniquely and positively changed the course of my life. These experiences sparked my interest in telling the stories of people like you and me, our inspiring accounts of transformation and resilience. Freedom. It's an incredible and alienable right that so many of us probably don't actively think about daily. Unless that is, you're Maria Wazir. Maria grew up in a tribal community on the Pakistan-Afghanistan border in an area controlled by the Taliban. It's part of the world where women don't have the same rights as men, from their clothes to their education. And even from a very young age, girls are not supposed to play the same sports as boys. But at the early age of four, Maria knew that she wanted something different for her life. And with the support of her parents, specifically her father, she bravely burned her clothes and cut her hair in an effort to live life disguised as a boy aching for the freedom to play outside and have the same opportunities as the boys in her community, which for Maria included excelling in sports. While she continues to make an impact on the lives of children and adults alike through her advocacy, it isn't without challenges, including her internal conflict with personal identification, which has evolved from her childhood into her adulthood as she's committed to living her fullest life each and every day. Maria's story sheds lights on the barriers that still exist for women around the globe, as well as the support of her family throughout this journey that highlights the importance of accepting people as human and more than anything else, embracing our differences. 